Hello everyone. This video is on hyaline arteriosclerosis. Before discussing about hyaline arteriosclerosis, let us first see what is meant by arteriosclerosis. Arterio means arteries and sclerosis means hardening. Besides hardening, they can also be thickening of the arteries. There are various types of arteriosclerosis like atherosclerosis which is the hardening of the arteries due to the formation of arthematous plaque, arteriosclerosis which is the hardening of the arterioles or the small arteries. Note the spelling difference. In arteriosclerosis, there is an extra LO. Next is the Muckenberg medial calcific sclerosis in which there is calcification in the tunica media of the arteries. And lastly, there is fibromuscular intimal hyperplasia, where there is hyperplasia of the intimal layer of the artery. There are two different types of arteriosclerosis, which is hyaline arteriosclerosis and hyperplastic arteriosclerosis. And in this video, I will be talking about hyaline arteriosclerosis. Before discussing about hyaline arteriosclerosis, let's briefly recap the structure of an arteriole. This is the diagrammatic version of the arteriole, which will be used throughout this video to illustrate the pathogenesis of hyaline arteriosclerosis, while this is the histological image for comparison. Arterioles, as in other arteries, consist of three layers in the vessel wall. The innermost layer is the tunica intima, which consists of a single layer of endothelial cells called the endothelium, beneath which is the subendothelial layer. The middle layer is the tunica media, which consists of one to three layers of concentric rings of smooth muscle cells. The outermost layer is the tunica externa, which consists of connective tissue. And this is the lumen of the blood vessel through which the blood flows. Blood vessels, both arteries and veins, contain plasma proteins as part of the component of blood. Normally, these plasma proteins stay within the lumen and will not leak out into the vessel wall. In hypertension, high pressure is exerted on the vessel walls as indicated by the arrows. When the pressure increase is moderate, over a long duration, as in chronic hypertension, the integrity of the intima of the arterioles is damaged, causing the plasma proteins to leak into the subendothelial layer and the media. This is usually not seen in the large arteries, as they can withstand the increased pressure by expanding because of their elasticity. Along with the deposition of these plasma proteins in the vessel wall, there is also increased production of extracellular matrix by the smooth muscle cells in response to the chronic hemodynamic stress. Over time, there is a change in the structure of the arterial wall. This includes protein deposition, extracellular matrix production, as well as smooth muscle cell degeneration, which leads to a homogeneous glassy pink appearance upon H&E staining. This is known as hyalinization, which is indicated by the pink circle lines. As hyalinization progresses, more and more smooth muscles degenerates. While the vessel wall thickens, compressing the intima. and pushing the lumen to become narrower. Ultimately, the whole of the vessel wall has a homogeneous glassy pink appearance under the microscope upon H&E staining, which is known as hyaline, and hence the name hyaline arteriosclerosis. The term hyaline comes from the Greek word for glass. Immunofluorescence study 
showed that the hyaline material is composed of complement protein bound to the hyaluronic acid. This is the histological picture of hyaline arteriosclerosis. As you can see here, compared to the normal arteriole, the wall is thickened with hyaline appearance, absence of muscle cells, and the lumen is narrowed. In summary, hyaline arteriosclerosis is the pink homogeneous appearance of the arterioles, which is due to the deposition of the plasma protein in the vessel wall as it leaks across the vascular lumen into the vessel wall. It is also due to the increased production of extracellular matrix from the smooth muscle cell. This also leads to the thickening and hardening of the arterial wall with a narrowed lumen, which leads to ischemia and infarction of the tissues that the arteriola supplies. Besides chronic hypertension, hyaline arterial sclerosis can also be caused by diabetes mellitus and aging. This is the end of my video. Thank you.